Welcome to our morning devotion. We thank God for this day and we delight in it. Today I would like to share from the book of First John chapter 4 and verse 18 that says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love derives out, drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. My brothers, what is fear? Fear is an unpleasant emotion caused by threat or danger or harm. Probably you'll remember as a child, we would be fearful when we have done something wrong and we would fear the wrath of our parents. Brethren, we only need to fear before we are saved. For those who have received Christ, let us be encouraged that we need not fear because God has already done the punishing. We are not waiting for any punishment the way we used to wait for punishment when we are young. God has done the punishment and that is what Gethsame and Calvary was all about. To save us and not to serve himself, Jesus gave his life as a ransom and paid the price. At the end of his life, he said it is finished. That debt is paid in full. Our sins and our father's forefathers' sins have been paid. There is no more condemnation. And that is why I want to encourage you this morning that we are not condemned and therefore we need not fear. Yes, bad things may still come our way, but God is not punishing us. God moves in mysterious ways, his wonders to perform, he say, we say in a hymn. In ways often known only to him and his divine wisdom, things that can make us fearful are used by God to increase our dependence upon him. God's love is ready to position us to move beyond fear and confidently face anything today and in future. This is the real confidence based on the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. As the scripture says, let us run with endurance. The race is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising shame, has sat at the right hand of the throne of God. Brethren, Jesus gave his life as a ransom for our sins. What's more, he rose and ascended into heaven to open a way for us to enjoy the hardship of the present life with our focus on a glorious future in heaven. His resurrection is the proof that God wants us to position us beyond fear and give us confidence for the future. We therefore arise, shine, for the light has come. Have a good day.